Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out, uh, the- the Test Track 01 by Dark Bomber, rebooted, part 1. And actually, all the parts. <laughs> they sent me the entire collection. So let's see, this is, uh, I guess B-Mod, apparently. The description says, Welcome to the new Aperture Science. You are currently halfway through the last test shaft, Shaft 341. But, the Shaft 341 wasn't finished. The scientists wanted to finish it before Cave Johnson died. It would take a long time to get GLaDOS functioning, so the scientists decided to make science on their own, and started the first test shaft, with their money coming from Black Mesa, as Aperture Science was poor in making devices for Black Mesa. <laughs> what a strange... parallel universe we're in in this multiverse right now. Is it normally this lit up in here? I don't remember seeing all this before. What the heck is that? Has that always been there? What is this? I don't know if this is one of B-Mod's preset things, or if this has been modified or what, but this is not how I remember it. Well, there's the observation room, but there's no grating on it? Strange... Huh. Maybe I just never paid close attention before. Is that really a thing that can be done? <laughs> you can place portals in there? I didn't know that. Is this a... what is this? Is this a faceplate, or...? What the heck is this? I don't know what that is. This just gets a new cube, right? Yeah. Okay, then. What does this button do? Is that permanent, or what? Okay, then. Strange. So, what exactly do I want to do here? What? That is a weird sound. We want a laser key from somewhere, apparently. What is this? Just another wall, I guess? Where would we get a laser cube from, though? I guess for now we should put the cube on the button, right? But... Okay, I see. We press this button, and then we just grab the cube. Why is it launch us to that phase play when we don't need to do that right now? Oh well. Okay, so what's in here? So far we haven't found a puzzle yet. But we did find a laser cube. Still no puzzle yet, though. And then I guess we swap the cube position. Okay. I'll take this with me, then. What is up with this? What did that even do? Nothing in here, I guess. Is there something over here I'm not seeing? Like a trigger? Cause this is just a dead end. There is nothing in here. Did I miss what Square did? I don't see Square out here. Oh! Really? Where was the puzzle, though? There weren't even any portal surfaces in here. Alright then. On to the next, I suppose. At least there's no Cape Johnson quotes, which I appreciate. So let's see, this one, we need to read the description when the map loads. Let's see, evaluate, view, and workshop. Welcome to Aperture Overriding Station Part- sorry, Port A. The whole test chamber is a manual override to the Aperture Laboratory's transfer entrance, which will lead to some 1960s enrichment spheres, all recreated to be a manual override to Alte, Aperture Laboratory's transfer entrance. Alte Port A has manual override so good that you may not make it to Alte alive. Anyway, this test chamber is the Aopsa Aperture Overriding Station Port A. Alright then. Got some strange government acronyms. No portal service in that one. We have one of these toggleable space plates again. Oh, Carolyn. Okay. What does this do? Redrop the cube, alright. So 
we'll just put this here for now. And I guess walk through here. What is this about? Is that the faceplate target? Probably. Here's the button that does... the faceplate. Well, hang on a sec. Cause, if we take this off... Obviously, we can't put ourselves through... What does this do? Why do I want this? Let's just press this and see what happens. Portal surfaces... Ah, okay. Portal surfaces, finally. Well then, that answers some questions. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't answer some questions. Let's try this again. There we go. That works. What was the faceplate for? I think the faceplate was just for death, to be honest. What the heck is going on in here? There's- it's too dark in here, you need to put some lights. Yeah, definitely need some lights in here. Alright, what's- why do we have to go such a long distance to get anywhere in this map? What the heck is going on here? Why is this room so large? Okay. Well, that... okay. Doesn't that need to go to the exit or whatever? How else might we hit that? I don't see a laser cube anywhere in here, right? What else does this go to? Something up here, right? Yeah, so it is required. What about... There we go. Maybe that'll help us put it over... I mean, put it on the button. Okay, that works. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's just- let's just go back out of here before we- we do anything else stupid. Oh, and that's it for this one. Alright then. Yeah, so far... so far neither of those have really been very good puzzles, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I'm breaking them, too. Let's see, part three... Description says... One of the manual override tests which opens the Alte. Okay. Interesting. This looks like it might be a puzzle. What's required for the exit? A button, huh? Really? Am I missing something? Uh, What was all this other stuff for? Who even knows? That needs to be fixed for sure. Whatever that is. I think I overrode the- the test chamber's intended solution there. Let's see, this one's description says... When it actually loads. There we go. The final manual override test which opens the Alte. Alright.
What the heck is this floor? I don't know if I've seen this particular entrance before. Why is there a portal gun there? I don't want it. Oh man, gave it to me anyway. Okay then. Wait, really? Is this just a copy of the one from the main campaign? Looks like that's exactly what this is. Yeah, that's exactly like the one in the main campaign. Well, there's more. Reflective gel? Looks like it. What? What even was the point of that? Like... That... You literally give a cube... With a button... It... None of this... This is completely pointless. Completely pointless. Absolutely a waste of time, to be honest. There is no point to any of that. I'm sorry, but this one is definitely getting a downvote. Alright, number five. Oh look, it's got this loading screen. Have they all had this loading screen? I don't think so, right? Oh, come on. Load. I was scared my game was crashing for a moment there, but nope, it's loading, it's loading. Alright, what does this one say? The Alte. Alright. Wait, what? What is this a picture of? What? Why is the screenshot a picture... of your maps? <laughs> what? Okay then. Oh my goodness! What is this monstrosity? I think... I think you did your hammer wrong, sir. I think- I think you have done a big mistake here with your hammer export. This is not- this is not- This is not! <laughs> what is even going on here? Oh, the gel's not even rendering. I mean, the- the deadly goo's not even rendering. For some reason. Uh, man, this- this is- this is Matt Fulbright, I guess? What the heck? What even is this? You thought this was acceptable to publish to the workshop? Ah, uh, really? I have some news for you, sir. This is not acceptable to publish to the workshop. <laughs> this is not an appropriate state for something to be in. Alte open. Okay. What do I have to do here? Portal bump? You really want me to portal bump? No? What is this supposed to be then? How else am I supposed to get across here? Without portal bumping? What is the point of any of this? Oh my gosh, why is there so much walking here? What the heck is going on? Why? Why so much? What? It just exits me to the menu? What? <sighs> Let's just remove these while we can. Let's see if you improved your hammer skills at all in part 6. Or any of your skills, really. Because, <laughs> these these maps are not very good. 
And you should have gotten feedback first before, you know, unleashing them onto the wild like this. This looks like a regular Puzzle Maker map. With some... hammer modifications? Wait, what? Did I just give up my portal gun? Is that something I just did? What? What? Okay, so now you copied Aperture Tag, I guess? Alright. Oh no, this again? Really? Was this, like, was this really necessary? <laughs> what is that for? What is all this nonsense around here? What is all this stuff? What is the point of any of this? That was completely pointless. I didn't even read the description of it, did I? Let's- let's go back and read the description real quick. Let's see... We were- that was part six, right? Part six. You have made it out of the 1980s Aperture Science. Now, to escape to Aperture Science altogether. The first Tetrax used the paint gun, and some even require the portal gun to get to the paint gun. Alright. Right-click to choose gels. Okay, that's important information. So then... Part 7 says... I call this chamber Fizzle Activator. You'll know why. This is just another chamber on your path to freedom from Aperture Science. Alright. Okay, well, I'll just immediately send my portal gun away and it gives me... I guess, this gun, right? What do I have selected right now? Water? Wow, it actually lets you clean off gels, that's nice. So, what do we want to do here? Wait, really? Also, how do I get back now? Wait, really? What is this cube here for? Is it even supposed to be here at all? Did you leave this in as a mistake or something? Perhaps? Maybe? Oh, that didn't work out quite how I wanted it to. Oh well. Oh, I'm gonna die there. So much for that. <sighs> well, at least now we know what to do. Let's just do this. Ignore everything, really. Because there's no point in anything that's in here. Take this, put it on this button. Do this. Here we go. Oh wait, we need something else. Square? Where would square be? Over there? I guess? Alright then. Man, I hate how I guess on my screen so I can't hardly see what I'm doing. Alright, let's pick this up. Thank you. Let's see... I guess... I just wanna get this everywhere, right? Oh my gosh, I hate how it gets on my screen like that. And then... do this. There we go. Let's save here. Oh wait, there's a fizzler here. Why? Is that- why is this called fizzle test? Did I go down there at all? Where am I actually meant to be going in- in, in here? I have no idea. Okay, so 
so what is down in this hole? Nothing. There's nothing in this hole. Is there anything over there I missed? Wait, there's a square here. What? Why is there a square here? Isn't- isn't square the exit? What is going on in this map? There's a square there... ...and a square there... Let's- let's just go over here real quick. Anything down here? No. Is there anything anywhere in this map? No comments. thing for square. There's this, but this doesn't lead anywhere. There's a double wide observation I mean four wide observation room there. What is this supposed to be? Is this map just borked or something? Uh I don't understand what's going on here. So it's not currently activated, right? What is it... what is this supposed to mean? Square. I think this map is just broken, to be honest. Oh well. Alright. Let's exit to Q, and we'll do the last one, I suppose. So let's see, this says... Once it lets me scroll down... It's loading right now, so I can't scroll down right now. Oh, that was... Okay, the overlay is not showing up anymore. Okay, well the overlay gave up, I guess. There we go. This is it. The time to escape. The impossible tests has a diversion that leads to the correct possible tests. Do not go left when you are there. Go right. That leads to the emergency exit. Wait, that just- it just says that leads to emergency exit. Alright, whatever. So... Apparently we have a choice in this map, I guess? Uh... What is- what is going on here? I think- I think- this is not rendering properly, whatever this is. What?! Really? Uh... Well, okay then. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Dark Bomber, please, you need to work on your- your puzzle skills, okay? Goodbye.